What's up guys? Today we're coming at you with a updated Dart Synchro deck profile. So let's jump into the deck profile and see what we're coming at you with. We're running mandatory three Gofu, Blackwing Gofu. You need him, you want to see him as fast as possible. That way you can go into your Sahaya plays and go into your crazy combo plays. Still running the three Armageddon Knight. You want to see this card with your Gofu. Be able to get that level leader in the grave. Once you got that level leader in the grave, get them combos going. We're trying out the three Sangin. The reason why I really like this card right now is it's and the way it, it searches the whole deck. But the main thing I'm looking at is even though it's slow, it helps me search Gofu. And that to me is very, very crucial to be able to get the Gofu in hand as fast as you can. You can still, you know, you might take a punch to the biscuit. You're still going to get that Gofu in hand and hopefully going with your place from there. We're running three level leader. Level leader just, you know, it's just all around just the best card. You know, you start eating them levels off and it's just hard to catch up with the deck after that. Once you start eating them levels, them levels start getting gone fast. We're running three. Quick draw synchron. Quick draw synchron is just good for getting the pitches, helping you go into your jet. You know, also too, it's just another free monster on board. You pitch a card, special summon, it helps you get into your link summons that much easier. Running two jet just to be able to help with the Excel combo, you know, to help you able to increase that level, decrease that level. Also on top of that, jet's just all around good tuner just to be able to get stuff out of the graveyard. We're still running a small plant engine in Dandelion, Glow Up Bulb, and then Spore. I like all three of these. They all have their very good pluses for the deck. Dandelion, just to be able to help get defense, help you get your link summons if you need be. Glow Up Bulb, be able to get that meal off the top of the deck, get that free special summon. And I like Spore, so it can banish off one of these two right here and add its levels to it and make other good combo plays. But that is it for our monsters. For our spell cards, we're still running three Allure Darkness. You want three Allure just to be able to speed through the deck as fast as possible. Once you get through the deck, you start hopefully getting to those combo pieces. We're running three Tuning just to be able to get to the quick draw Synchron to be able to get to your Jet if you need to. Be able to get that meal off the top of the deck. Help those combo plays start rolling. We're running one Reinforcement of the Army to make sure we get to see that Armageddon Knight. We're running one foolish barrel to send whatever monster we might need into the graveyard for whatever material we need and hope we get those plays going. We're running one one for one to be able to get these level one monsters onto the field. Get them combo plays growing, baby. We're running one soul charge just to be able to put that extra hit on the opponent once you done got some crazy plays going or if plays don't work out the way you want. Soul charge back, get them plays going. We're running three Insta Fusion, and the reason why I up this up is because we're not running the Predator Plant engine. But to be able to get to see Insta Fusion with these, this, and this on the field is very good. You can make about any play you want to make if you can get these three cards in hand. If you can get a Go Food Armageddon Knight Insta Fusion, you got plays for days. But I like that a lot. And lastly, for the spells, we're running two Twin Twister just to make sure the back row stays on lock. We don't want too much popping off back there. So, to make sure we hit those MS uh, Twin Twisters. And that is it for our spells. For our traps, we're running one Solemn Warning. Sometimes this deck, you know, you can go off fairly easy. But, you know, if you have to go second, you might have to run into some problems. So, guess what? You're going to be able to have some traps to back it up in case something don't go the way you want to. We're also running three strikes. Strikes just to be able to just, a lot of monster effects pop off, a lot of special summons popping off right now. And if your opponent's link summon, you want to be able to stop that link summon as fast as possible. So if you can stop that link summon, that's very, very good. And lastly for the traps, we're running one jar of avarice. Uh, our man, Leo, he was showing a card, uh, Exodios, which, you know, you summon it, spin all your monsters back, and that's a very good out for that. I like that a lot. It helps you get your extra deck reloaded back up, 
and to be able to get a lot of you know combos that re going that way you're not sitting here you use up all your cards and then you got nothing left to play I like Jar of Avarice over it the only reason why is I get to set it and bluff my opponent also on top of that I can spend all my cards back from my extra deck into my extra deck get ready for more GoFu plays and then on top of that I get one free draw out of it so I like that plus on the one free draw for spending five cards back into my extra deck so that helps out a lot and that is it for our main deck. For our extra deck, I'm running one Sea Monster Theseus. This is just to help you get the combo plays going. It's a tuner. Get that level leader play. Start eating up. Running one Cosmic Blaze Dragon just because he hates on about everything. He hates on battle. He hates on summons. He hates on effects. So if you can get him out there, start hating on your opponent. Running one Trishula just to be able to you know, eat them cards up out of the graveyard, field and out of the hand. You just don't want to see them. Running one Side Frame Lord Omega just to be able to get that, get that free insight on your opponent. Also on top of that, when it goes to the graveyard, use its graveyard effect, spin him back, spin whatever cards you want back into the deck. Helps you out on plays on that too. We're still running one Stardust Charge Warrior just to get that draw. And also too, this card is good, you know, if your opponent has too many monsters on board and they've been special summoned, hit all those monsters, and then you keep going on with your plays from there. Running one coil just to be able to get that free pop, and also on top of that, just to be able to get that good draw when he's sent to the graveyard. Running one TG Hyperlock variant just to help with all your combo plays. It helps you to be able to get, you know, him on board, then get your any other synchro out there and start drawing for days. We're running three Blackwing Gofu because Go, I mean, Sohaya, Sohaya just helps you to be able to just make crazy boards, you know, especially considering you, know, you get one out there and then you special summon another one off of this one, and then after that, you get done with it, banish one out, special summon another one. You know, that's an easy quasar. So the effects to be able to have three of them in the extra deck is very good. Running one Jet Warrior just you know be able to put that extra pressure on your opponent, summon that quick draw synchron, summon that jet, you know, and then just go into this and you know make trouble for your opponent. Running one Excel Synchron just to help to get the jet in the graveyard and extra combo plays. We're running one Formula Synchron because Formula is just you know too good to be able to, as soon as you summon just get that free draw. It helps you go into your blaze or whatever you need to go into. We're running one Deco Talker just because you need those link pointers. You know, you can be able to make some of your crazy combo plays without Deco Talker, but Deco Talker unleashes, unleashes the extra deck. He makes the extra deck look crazy. So we run one Deco Talker just to be able to get those extra plays going. And lastly, in the extra deck, we're running one Gaia Saber, the Light Shadow. The reason why I'm deciding to take this in is because even though we got Deco Talker, he will allow you to get stuff out there, but I like to be able to have three extras on spots, and that's very, very good. Also, on top of that, just in case, you know, sometimes you might summon Deco Talker, and guess what? They're going to sit there, and they're going to put hate on him. He's going straight to the graveyard. So I want to have another backup play just in case. Even though it's just pointing straight down, he's still a 26 beater, so that's still damage on board if you need to get over stuff. So I like that a lot. But that is it for the deck profile, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think or any improvements that can be made. We're out.